In this video, we'll take a look at how easy it is to enable new business services with Appstra. So we're going to be adding a new network for our new application. This might happen if you have a dev team that's implementing a new app or, for whatever reason, you need a new network added to your data center fabric. So the first thing we're going to do is create a routing zone, which is essentially a VRF for the application. In this case, we'll call it production. It's as simple as that to create the routing zone. However, Appstra is going to tell us that we need some further information to enable this service. We need our loopback IP addresses for the leaf switches, which we can assign from a pre-existing pool of IPs. Once we've done that, we can create a new virtual network for this application. So we will give it a name. Associate it with the production routing zone that we just created. Provide a VLAN and an IP subnet. And then we will say that we'd like to make it present on all of the racks in the network. In the Uncommitted tab in yellow, we can review the changes before we commit. All looks good, so we click Commit. We can write some notes to give some context in case we need to roll back to a prior state. And click Commit. And now we have a new routing zone and network created for our new application.